Hey guys, thank you for watching. In this video we're going to talk about the top and best enterprise DLP solutions. DLP or data loss prevention solutions are the type of solutions that they will help you to basically control mainly unstructured data like files, uh, documents, and uh, pictures, and PDF files, and so on and so forth. So they will basically make sure uh, you can control how those documents are being used or transferred and uh, you can create the specific policies around it like if there is any PII or PHI data in those documents how to treat those documents and who is allowed to basically access those documents. So to talk about the DLP solutions I'm just going to go through a few reports that I have. So the latest report we have from Gartner is for 2017, January 2017. And as you can see, there are a few vendors, obviously, on the leader section of Mark Gartner uh, Magic Quadrant, like Symantec, Digital Guardian, Forcepoint, and so on and so forth. So the um, this report uh, is not really uh, being renewed, or Gartner, they're not really uh, providing a new report. And the reason for that is they believe the P solutions are becoming really more complex and they're not really uh, the type of solutions that a lot of companies, they're adapting to it. And they are right, the, the DLP solutions are not really an easy solutions to maintain. They're not easy to basically operate and implement. So they are uh, basically not giving out that uh, report anymore. So there are there is also another reference uh, which is from Gartner Peer Insight. You can see the rating for different vendors. Um, if you like to basically go there and understand basically what's the rating for different vendors and what are the reviews uh, for each vendor. So you could obviously look at that as well. And there is also a Forrester um, report that is also uh, pretty old. So 2016, I believe. Uh, that has some of these vendors, identify some of these vendors like Symantec, Forcepoint, uh, Digital Guardian and so, so on. You can see they are on the leaderboard. So all the reports that we have, and this might be a little bit small so I make it a little bit larger, but uh, all these reports, they're not really being renewed. There, are, There is no new report basically to look at the uh, data loss prevention solutions. And I'm going to obviously explain my view on this one. Um, I kind of agree with... Uh, uh, Gardner reports and, and Forrester and this one. So the DLP solutions are basically pretty hard to maintain, right? So there are some challenges with DLP solutions. They're very hard to maintain. There are lots of false positives normally when you deal with them. It, it makes it really very hard and the reports are not accurate and so on. And could have a really large impact on the company operation. So if you're not careful, obviously it can have, have an impact on uh, individuals and how they actually work. They are very expensive. Um, the Apple solutions are not cheap uh, in terms of licensing and operating. And uh, they, they quickly become ineffective because uh, all the problems that I said, if there is a lot of false positive and, and it's hard to operate, obviously it's not going to be useful for the companies, right? And uh, with the speed of change that companies are going through, this type of solution is not really practical. So what should we really do? So um, I believe we need to focus on classification and right management instead of uh, uh, DLP in particular. And uh, Microsoft AIP is probably one of the biggest ones that they they uh, could be the winner there because they had there is a lot of you know built-in integration with Microsoft products and AIP is basically Azure Information Protect and uh, they basically provide that level of classification and protection that uh, uh, most companies uh, they need. So if you are Microsoft customer, definitely it's recommended to look at that Microsoft AIP. So what you could do and what you should do really is to focus on classification and uh, basically creating the meta metadata at the endpoint level or, or at the uh, basically storage level and make sure obviously you only check the data and control the data and at the, at the sensitive really segments and sensitive borders, right? So your CASB solution, Cloud Access Security Broker, your email security gateway, 
or endpoint security tools, they could be really the points that you want to really look at that metadata and understand really uh, how to deal with that data. So if someone uh, classified a document as high sensitive or, or high critical document and uh, it's just attached to an email and being sent out with uh, clear text, uh, that is where you should, <coughs> excuse me, you should really uh, check that document and try to obviously simplify as much as possible, right? So that's that's also important. Just to show you in, you know, kind of a diagram format, at the center, we try to classify the data um, at the endpoint level the cl on the cloud and the storage, wherever they are. So we try to classify the data, make sure that we know what is our classification and, and how we classify different, different level of data, uh, whether it is sensitive, critical, um, confidential, whatever, whatever those classifications are. And then there are a couple of things that you need to consider. You could obviously check the metadata at the CASB when the data is being sent out to the internet. You could check the data on your email security when the data is being sent out to the to the internet. And you can also check the metadata at the endpoint protection uh, solutions um, uh, to make sure if you want to really do anything with it. So if someone is copying on, on the uh, USB or something, you can just basically have controls that you want over there as well. So there are a couple of different components. So rather than obviously trying to figure out everything with a single solution, you kind of need to focus on classification and, and kind of have that brain sorted out first before obviously do the controls in other locations. And uh, the very important point is also focus on policies and uh, uh, end user training. So that is also a very important point, right? So just make sure that uh, you uh, train your people, you make sure that everyone is uh, familiar with, uh, with the uh, concept of data security and they understand your classification, how to deal with data. So those are really the, the important points that uh, uh, you should keep in mind and uh, DLP solutions as such, they are kind of dead. They are not really uh, type of solutions that you really want to have within your uh, environment, but DLP is not. So DLP concept is not. So you can still have DLP at the right location, at the, at the borders, and uh, obviously uh, do it a little bit smarter with less false positive and less problems for, for the vendors. With that, I'd like to thank you for viewing and have a good day.